This is really funny. <laughs> hey there, everyone. This is an Cow second day of Christmas. We're December 14. And um, today we got this big bag by that guy if. Uh, that guy if. The rule keeper of um, the rule book over on Patapon secretly outside of prying eyes so here we got a private letter i'm going to respond to it as i wish i'm just going to go ahead and remove it from here there we go untaped and uh, to be consumed at a later time so yes <laughs> this is really funny a little political it's a little bit funny because in quebec uh anything and in, in any public sign or whatever has to have French. If it's going to have English, it also has to have French or any other language. And the French part has to be higher and more visible. Which is kind of what they did here, and it's really funny. But to open after the gift, got it. It's one of those gift then letter type of arrangement. Not the first time. Uh, I didn't prep ahead of time, and I didn't like... Okay, I need to. I need to do some things here. I really should just bring my knife with me all the time because yeah, I just kind of cut whoa I didn't expect that to happen. I cut all the tape, but here Nonetheless, I managed to damage the bag and I feel bad about it. You know, it's a nice little polka dot bag and here I am just big thumb just destroying it Okay <laughs> What is going on here? What is this like a blanket? Ugh, ugh. Uh, oh boy, am I going to be able to see what's on it? It's... Uh, I'm upside down, I think. The... Wait, the... There's a face. God damn. The night. The night man. The night man cometh. Yeah, oh, okay. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, a musical by Charlie Kelly. Yeah, this is an Always Sunny reference. Wait, where is this from? How is this? Yeah, there's the troll man, the troll. Okay, where? How? How does this exist? What? What? I am... Confused by the existence of this merchandise, but also I am in love with it. No, yeah, the Night Man cometh. Yeah, 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 yeah. New musical by Charlie Kelly. It's, that's what it says there. I, I I could read. Yeah, see, there's effects. That's the station that does it. Oh my gosh, where is this from? This is so good. Where is this from? What? All right, I need to open a letter. Maybe there's going to be an explanation. Uh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay. It's a letter. It's a piece of paper. I can... I can work it with my fingers. There we go. Yeah, this is how your letters look like. They're like typed by like a typing machine. December written on... No. Yeah, no, yeah. December 14. You did it. You did it. Right timing. Dearest Raukau, let me start by apologizing for the state of the previous letter. You see, I've been using the same typewriter ribbon that I bought for this typewriter when I first got it 10 years ago. I figured I was pushing my luck a bit at that point, but then your concerns in reading the letter confirmed that the ribber had far outlived its usefulness. After that, I finally bought a replacement ribbon, two actually. And this is how you're currently reading this letter. Hopefully, this is somewhat more legible to read. This is super easy to read, in fact. That would go as far as to say. Any dang way, how are you? I suppose you're wondering about this gift. Well, I was short on ideas. I had reasons to suspect that you might be less inclined to read the remaining in-call stories. Or I can't think of any style than I tell, by the way. After all, Jean Giraud has limited involvement in the, them at best, but I also could not think of any alternatives, comic or art or otherwise. Then I recalled reading somewhere, I forgot where actually, that you liked It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I don't watch TV. Me neither. Watch it 
on Not TV, so I have no idea what it's like. However, one of my best friends uh, has a Skype avatar. Yes, we still use Skype. Shush. Dennis from a particular scene from that show, namely the not too hard, not too soft scene from The Gang Gets Quarantined in season 9. Apparently, that is significantly more details than necessary. So I asked him for ideas, and he suggests this sharp, this Sherpa blanket. This is one of the dentist system, but looking at it, I thought it was a bit much. No, honestly, you made the right choice, like, for real. Uh, in any event, you may as well thank him as much as me on this one. Well, thank you. Like, this is just such a random, like, unexpected thing. All right, meanwhile, my computer seems to be doing something, but I'm not at a computer right now. So it's all good. We are spared. Another year passed by the state of things. Another year passed by the state of things. I've done my part as best I could, making a new version of the Patapon document, running the God Hand thread and talk house, amongst other things. I hope it is enough. It's plenty. Long, long was the year on my end. On the one hand, I've done many a great thing this year. I traveled twice outside of the country, including to places I've never been to, such as Ireland and Scotland. On the lark, I climbed a freaking mountain all by myself with no assistance, and not for any existential mental health identity reasons. I just thought it was cool. Also, maybe to impress a girl, but details... Uh, I've started to write again in a particularly expansive way, including poetry, something I haven't done in at least a decade. I've been dabbling something I haven't done in, no, no, I've been dabbling in street art, okay, with some minor work placed in a couple cities. I extended the weight I have lost and kept it off, to totaling 40 pounds. I'm reaching one year at my new job, and with that milestone uh, opens the possibility to be able to travel around the world and still work thanks to special company program. Somehow, to my surprise, I have become a more social person with help with from friends in unexpected places. That sounds great. At the same time, things aren't particularly great. Oh, <laughs> after been healthy for the past few years, I was sick multiple times this year, including getting strapped three times and COVID once. The aforementioned friend was hospitalized and sent to multiple hospitals because he refused to deal with this, uh, with him. Wait, what? Oh, oh, wow. Uh, okay. On um, that, have grown significantly. I had to take a massive pay cut for this job, and it is unlikely I'll even approach the pay I had my previous job anytime soon. A face rejection, full in a heartbreaking way. Personal goal I set up for myself possibly pushed my certain circumstances was definitely not. I still incredibly feel alienated, but most of all, I was reminded in many ways that I am unwelcome in many places. None more glaring than my own state where, despite only being there seven hours for family wedding, I was constantly reminded of why I hadn't been back for 15 years. Jeez. This got suddenly, like, super real. Granted, 2023 wasn't as bad as it could have been and not as bad as it first felt back in January. But considering I had a streak of three good years, ironic given the pandemic and practically everyone I knew regressing, this year definitely felt like a wash. Oh, well. Bound to have a bad or mediocre year at some point. At the very least, if there's anything I've learned over the course of this year in this great big modern world of ours, it's to face facts by taking a hammer and a screwdriver and reciting this speech. I am the best ever. I am the most brutal and ruthless. You're a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. You're not Alexander. There's no one that can match me. My style and impendibus. My defense is impregnable. I want your heart. I want to eat your children. So profound. I am grateful for not only the sheer number of videos you put out every year, but your willingness to push yourself further from your roots, even if ASI keeps dragging you back. Well, you've watched less. Well, I've watched less than I used to, and I have doubt I'll ever be a royal court Republican, etc. Still glad you're around after all these years, and that I am, and I can help out in some minor capacity. Feliz Natal e Bonani, and all that fun jazz. Take care and enjoy yourself. Sincerely, that guy. If that guy, if 
tends to get real in his letters, doesn't he? <laughs> Thank you for the words. Thank you for just kind of plunging in there. Uh, it takes a lot of courage in and of itself. Thank you for the blanket. Just completely unreal and unexpected. Like, for real, though.